So I looked up some stereotypes about the Japanese people because I was curious. And I found that this person is saying that that all Japanese people are polite and kind to each other. I'm gonna say my opinions to this comment. I think it's true, but why? And I thought about it a lot. A part of the reason is the society in general, the Japanese society. Like, as we grow up, um, we are taught that it's the right thing to care about each other and not to be rude to other people. And we are always said that is the thing to do. That is what you should care about, you know, like in school or by parents or stuff. But in Western culture, it's completely different, I think. Like what matters the most in Western culture is the individual, individual, right? Like people have pride in themselves, like their own unique identities and stuff. But in Japan, I think this, it's different. It's actually the complete opposite. We think of others first, not ourselves. And even sometimes we do things for others, even if we like disadvantage, this benefit. And again, it's seen as like beautiful thing to do, like as a virtue. I think there's both pros and cons about this attitude. I think that makes Japan one of the safest place on the planet. Like Japan has such a low crime rate and people always say that uh, if you lose your wallet, you can always find it, you know, and nobody steals it. And I often see on Twitter, someone picks up a wallet and posts about it with the, with the photo of the wallet. Like, I found the wallet on the street. Does this belong to any of you? And kind of stuff. And that post blows up. That happens a lot. So we care about other people so much that we tend to say things in a indirect way. We don't say things directly like most people do in Western countries. Because in Western culture, if you have a problem, you say it in the face, right? But Japanese people have more um, calm manner. I'm not saying that Western people are, are not calm. <laughs> yeah, there's an expression in Japanese, uh, reading the air, kūkyo yomu. Like that's the exact translation, but you know, it, ma it makes sense, right? You read the air and say roundabout things, not to hurt each other's feelings. If you have a problem, you don't say that I have a problem, but you say things like, I'm not necessarily agree to your opinion, and I have some other options that you might like and suggest or imply that you're not agreeing with that person. Not like, I don't like your opinion, do this instead, blah blah blah, not like that. I think when we do nice things to people, we do that to look nice to other people, not for the, for the pure sake of uh, doing the right thing. But to some extent, we do things like that to look nice or polite to other people around it, around around them, almost unconsciously. But it's ultimately a good thing, right? We care about what other people think, and we do nice things to look nice. And as a result, a lot of people are nice, polite in Japan, which I think is very positive. So the theme is what other people think. That's the core mentality in Japanese people. So on the flip side, sometimes we care too much about what other people think that we uh, often hesitate to do something that is uh, unusual or untraditional or stuff. And even people dislike or give the side eye to people who does such things. I think this is the problem um, that most Japanese people have. I think that's partly the reason why still a lot of people here are quite homophobic. 
like without even noticing it and they kind of normalize it i hate that side of japan and for the same reason i think we care uh how we look a lot more than uh people in western cold countries like we don't we sometimes don't dress like we really want to do uh thinking that other people will make fun of you or something and in reality they do they make fun of you they don't say it in your face but um people think it's weird because it doesn't fit the how do you say criteria of a typical japanese person so yeah it's very difficult to do unusual things weird things in japan people will always talk shit about you <clears throat> and i always notice that like in a lot of tv shows or even youtube videos they uh they think it's funny to make fun of people's look like their face their faces like saying they're ugly or fat short I don't think it's necessarily only the Japanese thing though I think it's a worldwide thing that people will do so yeah and another stereotype is Japanese people are shy or quiet and I think this is true too and one reason for that is the existence of keigo a uh, formal language it's so complicated in japan we use certain form of language uh, when you talk to someone older than you and the age matters the most that is so weird i think and to strangers you you use polite way of saying things it's nothing like english there's some expression like could you or would you please please do this uh, something like that but it's completely different level in japanese if you're trying to be polite every sentence will change like grammatically so it's even difficult for me who was born and raised in japan fluent in japan japanese but i have trouble using keigo and the reason why that it leads to the fact that japanese people are shy or quiet is that when you talk to a stranger or older guys you have to use the formal speech so it's not as casual and natural as english so you tend to hesitate to talking to strangers and uh, have conversation with older people and as a result you don't speak to strangers that seems shy and quiet and i think that the reason that i mentioned uh, earlier of why people are nice and polite in japan applies to this topic too so we care about others too much that uh, we don't actively say uh, say things in, out of your mind we tend not to say our opinions uh, for example in a class in school or something no one really raised their hand unless they're encouraged to so that i think leads to uh the reason why people in japan seem so quiet and shy as well you know many people are worried about what other people might think of you and uh thinking that they might make fun of you and stuff so uh, we tend not to say things that much so yeah that's it that i wanted to say today have a good that uh, have a good rest of have a good rest of your day bye bye